Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. Today I will be sharing a fun product or project I should say using one die from iCrafter. This one has been around for a while and it's called Perfect Gift Box and I will combine it with another previous release item and I'm sorry about the sound here but I am turning my <laughs> products around so it's called Stand Up Window Add-on and it has a beautiful sentiment that says congrats so I will be combining those today and I'm sorry about my hands here you probably can see that I'm white all over my fingers I actually recorded this video in the summer and I was about and I was uh, painting my whole house and it's yellow actually my house but we have some um, some parts that are white so I just painted those and I had just done it when I did this video so I think it will go away when I <laughs> record the rest of this video so it was just for for a while there so sorry about that if that is something that is bothering you but you can see here I have cut all the pieces that I need for my box and I have laid them out here for you so you can see how we are going to adhere them so I will adhere them with a flap uh, to the inside and you need four of these to make this mechanism work. And I will take the second one, pour some, li uh, pour some liquid glue uh, on it and then press it down. And the same with the next one. So this goes super fast. So I cut four of the large pieces here and I just creased all of those um, um, tabs that you can see there. And then glue for the last one. And I will just bend it over itself to adhere everything so it looks nice. Making sure that everything is straight. And this glue actually dries really fast. I will play around with it a little bit. And then you can um, close your box up. And this actually goes through a standard die cutting machine, all of the pieces. Uh, and it, it's a pretty good size of a box when it's all assembled so I think this will be actually a perfect gift box for your holiday treats if you're making like a calendar or yeah whatever I think this would be super a super sweet um, box to make and here is another tab so this is the lid that we are creating and then we're gonna pour some glue <laughs> to those tabs as well. I just make sure I just made sure that all of this was uh, uh, straight before I started gluing stuff down. And this was actually the first time I did this box, so I did my lid a little bit larger than I maybe needed to do. Uh, with my previous experience of creating boxes, I always think the lid is a little bit snug. But for this I actually think it's the perfect gift box and it seemed to work really nice when you just adhere everything down. So you can see how it looks. And this die comes with a lot of embellishments that you can put on the sides. So I will start creating those. Um, so I will adhere everything with liquid glue. I started with the lid part here. I believe it's the lid part. Or maybe, no, it's one of the sides, sorry. So I cut um, some coordinating. I don't know if the camera is picking it, picking it up, but the box itself is actually blue. And um, the pattern paper that I chose um, was something that I had in my stash that is an older uh, type of paper. But I think it coordinated nicely with uh, the paper that we used for the box. So on all sides I use this and I will also use the die that cuts out um, the, like the decorative pieces for the sides as well. And this card, or sorry, this box also has um, some dies that could create sort of a um, like tie or whatever you can see here. Um, like if you were uh, putting a string around your bag or gift card or whatever and I just adhere those with liquid glue as well so you can see how everything looks I think this is just super nice and maybe you could do this a little bit more precise than I did I just eyeballed the center of the box and then I will go around 
doing this to the top. You can see how it looks. So I'm just making sure that I have the right pieces here and that I like how everything looks. I'm adhering that down. And then the small pieces to the side. And then I went around making sure that everything lined up. So this was pretty much a more smart way to do it, I think. So for my bows, I just created them out of some mirror. I don't know if teal or green, whatever we're going to say that this color is. Um, it coordinated nicely with the pattern paper that we got. So I just did two of those. I will here adhere them together and you can see that you have your little belly band there So here it is, our first bow, and you can see we have our parts here that you can adhere in different ways. I went this direction for the bow today. I used a glue, um, a double-sided foam dot here, and just had it at both of the sides. And I also created a tag to coordinate with this. So you can see here I have two of those, one in mirror cardstock and one in the same blue cardstock as we used for our box itself. And then I will adhere everything so you can, uh, when it's time to deliver this package, you can always write something on the tag and it's all ready to go. I actually have it here since the summer on my desk ready to go for a present. And um, yeah, I think it's really a sweet embellishment and I had this large snowflake as well that also comes in this um, uh, set and I just adhere it to the back just to give it some more dimension and plainness to it. So when I had created this I had a lot of leftover pieces and I wanted to create a card that coordinated with our box itself. So I cut another uh, strip of that same pattern paper. I created another bow and um, this time I had it in this direction and then I will adhere my pattern paper and um, a string as well. You will see here I will actually play around with this. It will not end up looking like that. In the end I will play a little bit with it. And I have my nice pattern paper here making sure that I have everything lined up. I will adhere our strings here just eyeballing where to cut it using liquid glue adhering it down doing the same to the other one some more liquid glue and then our bow to finish it off so here is a really simple card that you can create that it will coordinate nicely with our package. And for the sentiment I just use a uh, congrats die with coordinating shadow for, from the stand up window add on. I really love that. You can see I used the glitter, white glitter cardstock. And here you will see a close up of our two products for today. I hope you enjoyed this and until next time have a great day. Bye!